I walked out of the house, down the driveway, and I looked in, in like in the gutter outside of the house, and there was a river of fake blood just pouring into the sewers down the street. I was like, yeah, we're making a movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm Tara Hitchcock with Harkins Theaters, which is where fans can see this very violent, very over the top film starring some of their favorites. Thanks, Thanks. Tara. Tara, uh, you didn't like it, did you? Was it too, wait, was it too much? Was it too much? It's, put it this way, it's a lot. And there are, <laughs> and there were, and one of my first questions, and, and by the way, thank you because opening weekend, you guys have decided to come to Arizona and also perform for us in Tempe. Whose idea was that? That's a lot. Listen, we don't do things by accident too often, <laughs> unless it's making a horror film. We did not plan on making a horror film and it just kind of happened. Well, listen, we appreciate it. I know people are thrilled you're gonna be here. Yeah, there were a lot of moments where I had to go like this and I have to ask you, I know, Dave, you are close to your mom. I'm assuming you guys are all close to your families. Has she seen this yet? What have your families thought of this? She has not seen it. My kids have seen it. I have, I have a 15 year old and a 12 year old and they love horror. Like they watch horror films. It's different for them because I mean, you know, they know it's a movie and then I'm in it and then it's ridiculously stupid and it's funny and whatever. But I mean, I remember when we were making the movie, any of those scenes where someone was being killed, <clears throat> there's the director screaming more blood more blood and then there's this guy in the background like pumping this thing just like pumping him as hard as they can and so much that there was one day when i walked out of the house um which is kind of down the street it's in this neighborhood i walked out of the house down the driveway and i looked in, in like in the gutter outside of the house and there was a river of fake blood just pouring into the sewers down the street. I was like, yeah, we're making a movie. <laughs> so Nate, let me go to you. What are your family, has anyone seen it? Who are you most excited or nervous for to see the film? I'm just trying to get, most of my kids are very small. So I just got to keep it, they right. just so want it. When do I get to see the movie? I was like, you can't, it'll be nightmares <laughs> for a month. So I'm just trying to keep it away from them right now. My daughter, my daughter watched uh, one of my, um, my middle child, um, Annabelle, she watched an early version of it when it was three hours long and you could still see the wires holding Dave up in the bed. Or, <clears throat> you know, it's still, they had yet to put all the effects and they would really yet to edit the movie. And she thought it was gonna stay like that. And she's like, oh, you gotta keep it like that. It's so stupid. <laughs> That's awesome. She totally thought, she, like, if you, you guys are trying to make a movie, you <laughs> should see the fucking wires and stuff like that. Because what do you, you know? But they've yet to see the final product, as have I. Sequel. Uh, my daughter's 24, so the gory part, I think it's fine. But if you've seen other my part. scene, yes. it's a whole you don't other level scene. of embarrassment. Really? Yeah, you don't want to see that. Well, it's um, funny. I was I was going to ask you about that because you're the only, if, if if memory serves, you're the only one with a sex scene, if you want to call it that. The only the one film. is not married, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what a coinkydink. <laughs> Lucky me. Like Dave said, nothing is done really by accident. Yeah. So I, I I get it. I love the cameo. It's in the trailer, so I don't want to give too much away. Lionel Richie, obviously, and and he scolds you for for using one of his songs. I won't say which one because it's a funny scene. Is there anybody that has done a phenomenal job covering one of yours where you thought, ah, oh, sh we should be mad maybe, but man, that was really good. Oh God, I don't know. Prince. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Super yeah. Cool. Prince did the best version of "Best of You" that anyone's <laughs> like, ever done. Prince did one of our Better songs on the drop. Super Bowl, and he, after watching him do it, I'm like, we can't play that song anymore because uh, yeah. we'll never be as good. Like, we can't do it as good as Prince. There's just absolutely. Well, it wasn't no called way. "Best of You" anymore. It was called "Better Than You." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know they're about to wrap me. You guys are all great performers, but let me quickly. I'll start with you, Rami, on this. Who, in your opinion, after seeing this film, is actually the better actor? God, everybody really did. I mean, everything's so believable. I, we played ourselves, so yeah. it was pretty easy. Rami crushed it. I'm, I, gonna, I'm just gonna say that. I'm Ra saying Rami too. Oh, yeah, Rami really? too. was so I'm, good. I'm saying, I don't see it. Nate, Nate, a close second. Nate, Pat, and Rami kind of steal it yeah. all. I remember we had a table <clears> read. <throat> like what? They were like, you have a table read on Tuesday. We're like, what the hell is a table read? Like we'd never done this before. And after the table read, I was like, 
Rami's going straight to Hollywood. Uh, That's uh, right. Hey, He's going just, to the Oscars. Just trying to impress. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for your time. I have to laugh. Pat, to me, every time I saw him, I'm like, he is this close to cracking up. Like, he's this close. Uh, it's to true. <laughs> he's barely holding it together, that's for sure. Well, we'll see you guys in a few weeks in Tempe. Thank you. Congratulations on this. See you then. Thank Thanks. You, Bye. Thanks. Thanks.